Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so stoked to be recording this video. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be a dog mom. We will be getting a F1 standard golden doodle um, from a breeder in Missouri. So I am waiting <laughs> for him to come home. He's currently five weeks old, about to be six. So in approximately two weeks, he should be here home with us. And I'm just so, so, so excited. Um, but I just want to go ahead and show you guys everything that we got for him. Um, just in case you're getting a puppy or you just got a puppy and you're looking for ideas of what you should get. Um, I hope I help you out and I have linked everything down below that I could find with prices as well in case you really like something for your puppy. So let's get to it. As you can see behind me, I kind of have some of the treats that I bought him. I also have this basket here where I'm going to be keeping his toys um, and then also his crate. So we ended up getting a size large, I believe, off of Chewy um, just because we know that he's going to grow up to be a really big boy and we didn't want to be spending money on upgrading his crate. So we ended up getting a crate with a divider in the middle just so that we can allocate the appropriate space for him. Um, we do know that if you give them a space that's too big, they often tend to use the other half to go to the restroom. So to avoid that, the divider in the middle will hopefully keep him on one side and then also avoid any <laughs> accidents in there. But if they do happen, they happen. I mean, he is a puppy. Um, but yeah, so that's the crate. We will be using a slow feeder bowl. This one is from the brand Harmony. We want to raw feed him, so we plan on freezing his food on here and really just challenging him to earn his food. But we got this one from Petco. I believe this one was $20. I also ended up getting this little water bowl from Target. I think it's actually a cat bowl, um, now that I think about it, because it's really small. We also got him a snuffle mat. Um, the snuffle mat is designed to essentially stimulate him and kind of challenge him to just really work for his food um, and it has a bunch of little like fabric cut into it and like a flower in the middle and like all these different little pockets and grooves where you can input his treats or his food, his kibble or raw food. We also got him this lick mat. Um, the reason why I chose this one specifically was because it has the suction cups in the back. Um, my plan is to use this when we're grooming him, so either stick it to the side of the tub or when we're brushing him, put it on the ground or something or on the wall, um, just to facilitate the process and to really you know, positively reinforce that experience. And then I got this treat jar from Home Goods, and this one was ten dollars um honestly i got a lot of things from home goods and home goods is the hookup like they have a lot of cute toys they have a lot of cute dog beds like they have a bunch of pet accessories okay so now moving on to his treats we got him these beef liver freeze-dried treats um these were kind of expensive i'm not gonna lie i think this tub of treats was about $25, um, but it's a single ingredient treat, which means that there's no preservatives, um, no cornmeal, no starches or anything like that. Things that dogs aren't really supposed to be eating. So this is a really like high value treat. I already gave some of these to my parents' dogs and they went bananas for them. So I'm hoping he loves them. We also got him these lamb bites, which are lamb lung, and these are dehydrated treats, single ingredient as well. I got these at PetSmart. Um, you can probably find this at your local uh, pet store, um, but I will keep you guys updated and see and tell you if he loves these. We also got the Zooks mini training treats. Um, this is the chicken recipe. I saw a lot of YouTubers using these to train their dogs and it seemed like their dogs went crazy for them. And then we got bully sticks. These are from the brand Dudley's Dog Shoes. These are odor-free bully sticks and we went ahead and got the odor-free ones just because when he is on the plane, I don't want people around him complaining that they smell. <laughs> or that our dog smells weird. Um, it's usually the bully stick, but we're gonna try these out. Hopefully he loves them. If you guys have any brand recommendations for bully sticks, please let me know down in the comments. I was trying to do my research um, on them, but I haven't really found one that I'm like, ooh, like I wanna spend my money on that. Um, so let me know which ones your dogs love. Okay, moving on to kind of like walks slash poop bags. We ended up getting him a rope leash. This one is from the Mile High Life brand. 
We got this one off of Amazon, um, so it's pretty decent quality, it feels really sturdy, um, it's kind of in this like natural coffee espresso brown. This one isn't as long as I'd want it to be, so I'm probably going to be getting him another one, but I just think that this one's super cute, and it's going to go well with his outfits and everything. <laughs> I also got him a collar from Target. This one's from the brand Boots and Barkley. Um, it just is really simple. I believe it's a buckle strap and then it has these little lines on it. It looks black to me, but I think it's like navy blue and white. Um, and I really want to get him a leather collar, but just because he's going to be growing so fast, I wanted to hold off on those just because those are kind of expensive. I also got a poop dispenser bag. This one I got at PetSmart. Um, this one says it's from the brand Top Paw and I just thought it was adorable because it has these little spots on it and then it already came with some poop bags but I didn't want to buy trash bags or poop bags that weren't environmentally friendly so my husband actually found these at Costco and these are supposed to be environmentally friendly. They're biodegradable. These are plant-based, so it has zero plastics in them. Um, and I'm excited to use these. These are from the brand Lucky Dog, and these have 300 bags. So, you know, you gotta do your part for Mother Nature. Um, some people complain about the smell, but honestly, they don't smell at all. Um, so I don't really know what they're complaining about, but yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think about them once I start using them. Okay. Moving on to toys, which is probably the most exciting part. <laughs> so we got this toy, which I believe is an alligator or a crocodile. I don't know. Correct me if you know. Um, but this one I got at Home Goods again, and it's essentially like a rope toy, but it is kind of like this braided material. So when he pulls on it, it's gonna stretch out, and then when you're done playing with it, you can push it back in, and it compresses into the little body that it has. And then the feet and the hands have the crinkly noise to them which I hope he loves, and then the head also has a squeaker toy, which, oh, there it is. <laughs> so here's another toy that we got from Home Goods. It's a little llama or alpaca, um, and it's really fuzzy and super cute, and it has the crinkly paper inside, so it's meant to make a lot of noise, as you can tell. So it'll most likely drive me nuts, but if he loves it, then I'll be happy. Um, the head also has a squeaker which I think is cute. And then this one I got at Home Goods um, for I believe $6 or $5. So it was definitely a steal. <laughs> so this is another toy that I got at Home Goods. I think it's adorable. This is literally like a baby toy to me. Um, and it has this kind of waffle texture on it and it has squeakers in the middle at the ends of his hands and his feet. So. A lot of squeakers and all these toys, I don't know why, but yeah, so he should love this, I hope. I plan on sleeping with this one. I need to start sleeping with it, actually, so that it starts getting my scent on it. Um, and then that way, once we start crate training him, we can just throw this in there with him, and since it'll have our smell, it's supposed to calm him down. Here's another toy that I got at Home Goods. Um, this is a little taco toy, which I think is super cute with the squeakers in it. And I got this one from the brand Zippy Paws, um, and I believe this one was $3. I linked it down below from the direct website of the brand, which sells it for $8. But if you go to your local home goods, I'm sure you can find this toy or at least a variation of it. They carry a lot of Zippy Paw toys, so, and they're high quality toys, which I like. This is one of the toys that I got at Petco, and this is one of the first toys that I bought for him. It is so stinking adorable. It literally reminds me of a baby toy. It also has a squeaker. Surprise, surprise. Um, but essentially you soak the top of the little puppy head and you throw it in your freezer. Um, and it's supposed to help with your puppy's teething. So once it comes out, it's basically, you know, an ice block. Um, and it also has this, these little grooves at the bottom where I think I'm gonna spread peanut butter between so that he can like lick it. Um, but yeah, this one's really cute, and I think I got this one for $6. Of course, we had to get a Kong. Um, this is in the puppy size. There's two different colors that you can choose from. There's this baby blue and then a light pink, which is super cute as well. But since he's a boy, I wanted to get things that were blue. 
So if you have any con recipes that your dogs absolutely go crazy for, let me know down in the comments. I really want to give him high quality treats and um, any recipes that you know your dogs love, I'm sure he will love as well. So let me know if you have any ideas for his con. We noticed that they did have inserts at this pet store, um, but we didn't want to buy them just because they seemed like they had a lot of preservatives, especially like the squeeze peanut butter can thing that they have, or like I think they even have a cheese one, or I don't know. But they just seem like they have a lot of preservatives, and I feel like you can definitely make something similar at home with things that you already have. So don't buy those buy something at your local grocery store and fill it up with that instead it's definitely going to be better for your pup and you know health healthier for them in the long run we also got him some nyla bones um originally i bought this one which i guess is not for him <laughs> because this is for a power chewer um and this is peanut butter flavored and it's definitely a lot bigger than the other nyla bones that i've seen um, so then I went back and I got this one and so this one is for a puppy because it's puppy chew um, and it's beef flavored and it definitely does have a smell to it just because of the beef I don't know I can smell it but I can't smell peanut butter on this one it's kind of weird um, but it has a bunch of ridges on it and it's supposed to help with teething so I'm definitely gonna give him this one first and then hold off on the other one until he's a little bit bigger so this is one of the favorite toys that we've bought for him so far, um, and it's this butterfly. It's made from recycled water bottles, so it's earth friendly. The wings have that crinkly noise to them, so. And then the middle has this rope toy, and it's really hard, so I don't want to give this to him right away because I don't want to hurt his puppy teeth, but it's supposed to be used as like a tug of war thing, and I'm just hoping that he loves it because I just think it's super adorable. And then I also got him this little basket, which I got from Home Goods as well. So, you know, I'm just saying Home Goods comes in clutch <laughs> for literally most of my things. Um, but I got this basket from Home Goods. It's this really pretty neutral color, but it has this like fun abstract dog pattern on it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and for his grooming, um, I got him the Birds Bees Tearless Puppy Shampoo. I also got the Cowboy Magic uh, Detangler in Shine. So I've heard really great things about Cowboy Magic in general. And we also got a slicker brush. So this one I believe I got at Petco or PetSmart. Um, and it has basically all these like little metal bristles and I hope it works. I haven't seen the best reviews about this one, um, but let me know if you guys have a preferred slicker brush. I think this one was only like $20, so it wasn't very expensive, um, but yeah. We also went ahead and got the Flea and Tick um, Pet and Home Protectant. Um, this one is from the brand Wonderside. And I actually saw Rachel Fuzaro, I believe that's how you say her last name, I don't know. Um, she recommended this one. It's supposed to be more natural for your pet and it works really well according to her. At least it works for her and her pets. Um, so we are going to try this one out. This one is in the scent peppermint. Um, you can put it directly on your dog. You can put it on your dog bed. You can put it on your carpets just to kind of avoid having fleas. We also got him his own towels. I got these from World Market. I ended up getting um, kind of like these fun pattern boho style towels. Um, these are the only ones in my home that look like this, so I will definitely know which ones belong to him and which ones are our human towels. So I also got this stain remover. It's supposed to have an enzymatic formula, so if he has an accident inside the house, which is bound to happen because he will be a puppy, um, I can use this and it will remove the smell completely, even for him, so he won't make the same mistake twice in the same spot at least. So I also went ahead and got him his own little blanket, and this one I got from Home Goods as well. As you can tell, I love Home Goods. <laughs> but I got this one from Home Goods. It has little puppy paws, and it's a deep blue, and it's super boyish, and I love it. And this is what I'm gonna use to pick him up from the airport. And I also went ahead and got him some puppy bandanas. So this one is from the brand Ellie & Co. Um, I found this brand on Instagram, and I just thought that her designs were really pretty. Um, I also got this one in black, and it has like 
little crosses on them. All right guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some great ideas for your new puppy. And follow along on my puppy's Instagram at mydudesanthi. I will definitely be sharing his growth on there and kind of just keeping you guys more updated on there than on here. So if you're interested in seeing my golden doodle grow up, go ahead and give us a follow.